The Ottoman Empire has given many famous historical personalities to the world, to remember, criticize, and appreciate. Of course, many of these are discussed by historians related to their actual facts and figures. And some came to sources with the addition of rumors in their stories. Today in this video, you'll get to know about the life story of the famous Ottoman princess, Hatice Sultan, and the facts and rumors about her life. But before going further, it's our humble request to the viewers to subscribe to the channel, and do like and share the video. A few clicks of yours will not cost you anything, but it'll motivate us, and help our channel to grow. We really appreciate and regard your support. And please, give your feedback in the comments section below. Very few documented records have been available about this Ottoman princess. And some other information that is available to us through contemporary sources, is conflicted by historians of all times. Hatice Sultan was one of the historical figures from the Ottoman family. She was the daughter of Sultan Selim I, and his consort Aisha Hafsa Sultan. She was also the younger full sister of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. The exact birth date of Hatice Sultan is not known. Many historians have argued about it, and they range her birth to have taken place somewhere between 1490 to 1493 in Trabzon, Turkey. But few others stated that she was born between 1494 to 1496 in Adirne, Turkey. She was named after Hazrat Khadija, the first wife of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Khadija is a name of Arabic origin, and the meaning of Khadija is trustworthy or respect. The Turkish equivalent of Khadija is Hatice. The life of Hatice Sultan was an embodiment of love and courage. Sultan Selim loved his daughter. She was trained at everything which was required for a princess to become a graceful lady. She knew the ways and manners of the court, as well as trained in the art of sword fighting and tricks of knife play. She was also a good horse rider. Though she was first the granddaughter, daughter, and the sister of the Ottoman sultans, and enjoyed a luxurious life like all the other Ottoman princesses, but her life also had set some tests for her. It is said that she first married, when she was only 15 years old. Her father chose Damat Kapudna Skender Pasha, who was an Ottoman governor and also an advisory member of his court, and later became an admiral. It was an arranged marriage, in which she consented to her duty and love for her father. But unfortunately, her husband died when she was only 21 years old, and became a widow at a young age. Some historians argued, that the first husband of Hatice Sultan was executed, but the reality has been buried under the dust of time. Hatice Sultan moved in with her mother and her brother Shah Zadi Suleiman, when she became a widow. Her brother Shah Zadi Suleiman was the crown prince at that time. He had immense love and respect for his younger sister. He tried his best to give the best possible protection to her. The next part of her life was the disinformation of the time. It was long believed, that when Hatice Sultan became a widow and moved to her brother, she then found a man in his brother's court, and the name of that person was Pargali Ibrahim Pasha, who later became the Grand Vizier of the Ottoman Empire. Ibrahim Pasha was also the best friend of her brother. She fell in love with him, and later their grand marriage had been taken place with the consent of her brother Sultan Suleiman, in order to make Ibrahim Pasha even closer to him as the Dermot, mean son-in-law of the dynasty. 
It was rumored that the magnificent marriage of Had TJ Sultan and Ibrahim Pasha lasted for 15 days, which significantly affected the treasury as a lot of money was spent on the celebration. Sultan also gave them a large luxurious palace on the west side of the Hippodrome in Istanbul. This palace of Ibrahim Pasha still stands today, and now it has been converted into the modern-day Turkish and Islamic Arts Museum. Hatice Sultan became a widow again a few years later, when Ibrahim Pasha was executed for his disloyalty on the orders of her brother Sultan Suleiman. It is believed by historians, that a magnificent marriage ceremony of Ibrahim Pasha had taken place. But not a single source confirmed that the Hatice Sultan was his wife. The research was conducted in the late 2000s, by the historian Nebru Turan, which revealed that no solid evidence was available of the marriage of Hatice Sultan and Ibrahim Pasha, that it ever took place. However, the research carried out the result, that Ibrahim Pasha married in a lavish ceremony, and the name of the woman he married was, Mutani Khatun. Though, no solid records are available about the ethnicity of Mutani Khatun. However, it is stated that most probably, she was the granddaughter of Iskender Pasha, the Ottoman governor of Bosnia, who captured Ibrahim Pasha as a slave in his childhood. Multiple references have been discovered, which include Venetian and Ottoman texts of Mutani, as well as a signed letter from her to Ibrahim Pasha. Historians now generally accepted that the wife of Ibrahim Pasha was Mutani Khatun, not Hatice. In reality, Hatice Sultan was secondly married to Choban Mustafa Pasha, son of Iskender Pasha, who was the widower of her half-sister Shahzadi Sultan. Though historians had not said much about the lives or deaths of Hatice Sultan's children, but it is said, that Hatice Sultan had four sons and a daughter in her first marriage, and a son and at least two daughters in her second marriage. Hatice Sultan died in 1543 or 1544. She was buried next to her sister Hafizi Sultan, in a tomb next to her parents, in the graveyard of Yavuz Sultan Salem Mosque, Istanbul, Turkey. In 1543-1544, Hatice Sultan had commissioned to build a mosque in her name, in Aksaray, Turkey. Today, the tomb and the mosque of Hatice Sultan is one of the tourist attractions in Turkey.